This is Chris from The Verge, and today we're looking at a pair of Audis you're definitely not going to find in your local dealership. One drives for you, one reads traffic lights, and both are kind of amazing. So Audi has worked with the city of Las Vegas to wire up all of these street lights so that they're actually downloading information about the programs that the street lights are running on, the reds, the greens, in real time, and Audi is calculating uh, when the lights are likely to change. The engine is currently completely off. The car has start-stop technology, and because it knows when this light is gonna change from red to green, when there's five seconds left, the engine automatically turns on, so we're ready to go. Normally, with a start-stop engine, the only time the engine turns on is when you, you let your foot off the brake, and then there's a little bit of a delay before the engine's ready to go. With this, by the time the light changes, you can press the gas and you're good to go. And one of the great things about the car being able to detect when it needs to start the engine is that if you're not paying attention to the stoplights, if you're looking around, you can feel the engine start. You can feel it on the pedal, the brake pedal. You can sort of hear the engine a little bit. So that kind of gives you a reminder that you need to start paying attention because the light's about to change from red to green. The system is only live in a few European cities right now, and it's very difficult to scale because every major European city does their traffic lights differently. It's a little more homogenous in the US, but it's still a huge task to try to take in all of this traffic light information, collect it in, an, in a, a server farm in Germany, and process it and get it out to all the cars. So this is a slow process. The Las Vegas deployment is just for CES, of course. But over time, hopefully, we'll see this in more cars. Later, we took to the highway to see what happens when you fall asleep while your self-driving car is slogging along in a traffic jam. Okay, here we go. Please watch the tra tra traffic around me because this is pretty scary. <laughs> Alright, here we go. There you go, so it says, driver attention, please take seconds starts break down and there you go the emergency lights are on well they just switched to switch back off again uh -huh. sometimes, sometimes happens we're still in development that's a that's a loud beep that it is hard to ignore it is absolutely we want the driver to know that he's supposed to take over right it uses a variety of sensors both inside and outside the car to make this happen inside there are cameras that are actually keeping an eye on my face if i fall asleep the car detects that, it automatically shuts off the piloted driving, and if I take too long to take control of the car, it'll actually bring it to a full stop, put on the flashers, and call the cops. So there you have it. Just like last year, Audi is throwing a lot of new technology at CES. And neither of these technologies are ridiculous notions that won't ever see the light of day. They're real, and there's good reason to think they'll be in production cars soon.